Okay, guys, and welcome back to Car Mechanic 2015, and welcome back into Fenby's Garage. Now, this will be a fairly quick video, as it is Sunday, and the mechanic is actually on double time and a half. What we do have for you today is some footage from the new pickup and SUV mod pack now available for Car Mechanic 2015, which you can purchase for a couple of bucks through Steam. This particular one is the Caster Earthquake, uh, bought at auction for just over 40000 uh, It's a 4x4 dual cab ute, uh, very similar looking to something like a Ford Ranger or perhaps even a Mazda BT50. Uh, but either way, it's going to need some loving, so let's get it straight up onto the hoist and get started. Now I've taken the liberty here to either repair or replace all the body parts up to 100%. Uh, so that we can get straight into having a look at the, uh, at the heart of the machine. As you can see here, it's a V8 engine, a V8 gearbox, but where it does differ uh, from what we've seen before is this strange thing between the gearbox and the drive shaft. Now this of course is a transfer case uh, which supplies power to the front drive shaft and of course onto the front wheels. Now getting underneath the car, we're able to start removing some of those parts I mentioned. Uh, the drive shaft. Uh, sometimes you just need to get the right angle on some of these bolts. Uh, now I did learn quite quickly that the uh, the front the front drive shaft B needs to be removed before taking out that transfer case and once the transfer case is out uh, then you're able to take the gearbox out and those parts inside the gearbox are also going to need repair so they come out as well. Now I'm sure you would know by now, I could have gone and got the oil drain here to catch the oil from the oil pan and actually save 100 bucks, but in this case I didn't worry about it. So as I fly around here, just removing all the parts ready for repair, front drive axle away. Inner and outer tie rods. Uh, so that you're able to then remove the steering rack uh, to be removed and repaired. I just wanted to jump ahead a little bit here, just to keep this video reasonably short. Um, so I'm just removing the last of the running gear, the front wheel hub. Front steering knuckle. Um, actually, I'm not forgetting about these four rubber bushings in the front suspension, suspension cross member. Uh, this is actually one of the first places to look if you find after a build uh, that it's saying that there's parts missing. Um, is these, uh, these rubber bushings because um, they're very easy to forget. Moving on to the engine, taking out the crankshaft bearing caps. And as you can see, uh, those pistons are going to need some repair. Uh, once again, down with the lifter uh, to remove the top components of the engine block. Now 
Jumping back to the rear of the car, just taking off the brake pads here. Uh, more rubber bushings. The rear drive axle, rear axle knuckle housing, and the last pieces of the suspension, uh, the leaf spring and the shocks. Now some of these parts will need repair, uh, while others won't, but I find it's easier just to take them all out, take them all out at the same time, and then once they're taken out, you're able to go through them and repair or replace. And there you have it, a stripped caster earthquake. And we're back from repairing or replacing all those parts, most of which I was able to repair up to 100%. I uh, did lose a couple just through over repair, but that's okay. I just simply purchased those. Uh, now onto the fun bit of putting it all back together. Now there isn't any particular order you need to put these back in, uh, personal preference really, and it soon tells you if you can't put something in with that uh, horrible donk noise. I generally start with a motor, uh, air filter, radiator, uh, battery, you know that sort of thing, and then move on to the, uh, the front running gear, and just try to do as much under the car at one time just to save the up and down of the lifter. Uh, crankshaft, crankshaft bearing caps uh, will go in, uh, looking all shiny and new. Uh, it's almost a shame to cover them up really. Uh, and then onto the front running gear. And as you can do the uh, gearbox while you're here, you might as well do that as well. Followed by the starter motor. Uh, man, I don't know how many times I forgot to put that starter motor in. Uh, you'd think I'd learn after the fourth or fifth time, but no, keep forgetting it. In with the transfer case, uh, front drive shaft, uh, some of the exhaust while I'm here. and the drive shaft itself, getting those bolts nice and tight. And finally we have it, uh, the completed caster earthquake, fully restored. Let's take a spin around and have a look at it. Now I'm not a big fan of the colour, so if I was going to keep her then I'd definitely give her a paint job. I haven't even got the engine as well. Just remembering guys, we purchased it at auction for just over $20,000. Uh, now selling it for a touch over to $71,000. Now unfortunately I didn't keep track of the money I spent on parts, so I couldn't tell you what our, our uh, net profit is. But as you can see, we have a restoration bonus of 22,000. Well, I hope you enjoyed the restoration of the Cast Earthquake, and I'll catch you all next time.